Well, just about every pollster in the U.S. will tell you a red wave is about to crash over the nation, but some top Democrats seem to have gone on a bit of a bender. They're all still claiming they've got the advantage with less than two weeks. Count them two, Utah. So who is right here? For but for some reason, the donkeys still have a bounce in their step. Earlier today, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer greeted the president in Syracuse and tried to convince him that bad polling was just an illusion. <laughs> Shame on you, Chuckles. Don't lie to an old man like that. He's feeble. You're trying to tell him the Democrats are going to win everything. Did you also tell him to send his savings to that Nigerian prince, <laughs> like I did? Or to get some discount vinyl siding on his beach house? Yeah, these. Look right in there. January 10th. Oh, my God, we have a release date for Prince Harry's controversial tell-all about his life, his marriage. <laughs> oh, sorry. And his royal upbringing sounds like a great book to read on the throne. It's now, I just want to clarify something, because there was an inaccuracy in your info. It's actually called Spare after the closet that Megan stashed his nuts in. They used a spare closet. <laughs> she Inflation in this country, uh, housing prices are way too high, mortgage rates are way too high, people can't afford to live anywhere, yeah. gas is too expensive, eggs, butter, milk, meat, mm -hmm. it's all gone way up. No, no one can afford anything. Uh -huh. Who wants to hear the son of a billionaire <laughs> who was born into the most privileged family on the planet? Uh -huh. They threw her out. 45 days, she was the CNN plus of prime minister. I just mean, listen, everything we else. know Dumb Harry, Allegedly. and we both love Hooligan Harry. Yeah. We love soccer hooligan thrown out of the Mandalay Bay Harry. That's a great Harry. And he was at least... Queen is going to haunt him from the great beyond. In a perfect world, yes. Yeah. But I don't even think she thinks they're worth it. No, she's... Remember I this. I always had my questions with <laughs> those ginger balls. <laughs> It's horrible <laughs> what he's done to the family. He, d he wouldn't know how to serve something if he were a waiter at Spago. <laughs> and, yes. he, and he might be the way to think if the queen were around. And I, I think those were her private feelings on the way out. Older, so they I go around. They, yeah. they realize, like, we waste too much time with superficial tropical storms coming up next. Thank you. Thank you. The Barilla Pasta Company is being sued for calling itself Italy's number one pasta brand, despite being manufactured in Iowa. Oh. In other words, it's an impasta. It's fugazi. That's fettuccine al phony. And this is the topical storm. And speaking of shadowy figures, it's time to hear from you. This is viewer mail. Frank kicks it off with, you're embarrassing yourself. Wait, hold on. Hi, boobies! Now I'm embarrassing myself. Lewis writes in, you are horribly good, Kennedy. And uh, I don't know why I made that noise. Stanley tweets, Aunt Kennedy Nation, your lipstick makes you look like an extra from a zombie movie. Huh, this lipstick. <laughs> Does that make you look like an extra? <laughs> and then Stanley says, I think you're probably the most talented person on TV. I'm not saying that because I want to date you. I want to date AOC. Pervert. Uh, no, she is. I'm a god. And she said, you have a juicy booty, juicy booty. <laughs> Thank you for watching the best hour of your day. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Kennedy Nation, Facebook Kennedy FBN, email Kennedy FBN at foxbusiness.com. Subscribe to my podcast, Kennedy Saves the World, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or foxnewspodcast.com. I have to walk in the heels. It's almost impossible. I can't watch Joe Kennedy VR it. Make every day Kennedy. There's some apples, yeah. Mm -hmm.